Welcome to another SBR Productions video. In this video, we're going to be discussing the Indian numbering system and its relevance in today's world. Take a look at this number. What would you call this? 10 to the power of 6, 1 million, or 10 lakhs? This example illustrates how the way we count numbers in India is fundamentally different from the way numbers are counted in the rest of the world. The Indian number system has its roots in the ancient Vedic system, which is over 3,000 years old. Over time, it has evolved, exchanging elements with the Arabic and Western number systems and getting simplified during translations between different national and international languages. The system that is commonly used by India and some of its neighbors today looks something like this. 1, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. Then things get a little interesting. While the rest of the world calls 10 raised to 5, that is 1 followed by 5 zeros, 100,000, we call it 1 lakh. Then 1 million is referred to as 10 lakhs. 10 million is referred to as 1 crore. And lastly, 100 crores is the same as 1 billion. As you can see, even the placement of commas differs between the two systems. The Indian system places the first comma after three digits, then two, 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 and so on, while the Western system uses batches of three digits. At the 100 crore mark, this system gets a little more confusing. Based on the Indian numbering system, 100 crores should be labeled as one Arab. In fact, the Indian numbering system has unique names for each 10 to the power 2 increase, but we seem to have abandoned them in our day-to-day -day use. For example, 10 followed by 12 zeros is referred to as 1 lakh crore. This is actually 10 kharab in the Indian numbering system and 1 trillion in the Western system. Also note the inconsistent comma arrangement. What we have here then is a confusing hybrid between the Vedic, Arabic and Western numbering systems, which leads to complicated large number conversions and calculations, as I shall now demonstrate. India's GDP is around 2.2 trillion dollars, or is it 2.2 lakh crore, or 22 kharab? Now let's convert that to rupees at the prevailing exchange rate of 64.5 rupees to the dollar. Hmm. Scientific notation makes this a little easier. The result is 142 trillion rupees, or 142 lakh crore, or is it 1.42 crore crores, or is it 1.42 nil? The original Vedic system this is all based on would call it 142 sanku. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Our population at the time of recording this is 1.33 billion people, which could also be written as 1 Arab 33 crores or 130 crore. Changing the way that many people count is no easy task. So should India switch from counting in lakhs and crores to using millions and billions? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and then subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.